Good morning, everyone. Welcome back into North Dakota today. One young woman has built a successful business all while pursuing her degree. Excuse me. <laughs> Sunshine of Sarah Sunshine Photography is joining me in studio to share more about her business. Welcome. Hello, Sophia. Good Hello, morning. Hello, Sunshine. We are so <laughs> happy to have you on this Friday morning. So mm -hmm. tell us about your business. Sarah Sunshine Photography started honestly on accident. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a vlogger as we all did <laughs> when we were like 13 because we all grew up in YouTube era. Mm -hmm. um, and I asked my parents for a camera and I guess they didn't really know the difference between a vlog camera and a photo camera. Okay. And so when they got me um, a photo camera, I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll roll with the punches. And then mm -hmm. I started just doing a little bit of hobby photography as everybody does. I started a little Instagram account and then my sister's freshman year roommate um, was asked to be a second shooter for a local photographer in Dickinson and she wasn't able to but she knew I had a camera and mm -hmm. so she um, she said hey Sunshine you should do it and I did and um, that was with Studio 323 in Dickinson um, she really helped build up my business and then slowly but surely I built my own small clientele with second shooting with um, McKenna and then also Haley Mercedes photography down in Spearfish, South Dakota. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Bible camp with her when I was little. Yes. Um, and so between those two ladies, I was really able to um, shadow them, learn from them, and then slowly grow my own business. Wow, well, that is wonderful. And to have so much experience as a young woman is so impressive. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely, I have obviously put in hard work for this business, but I truly believe it's not what you know, it's who you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so being able to know McKenna and knowing Haley and both of my parents were serial entrepreneurs all while I was growing up and um, they've really helped, my roommates have helped me with IT work and different mm -hmm. friends helping me with making my logo. Um, and all of that has, has really helped grow the business as a whole. It takes a village. It so <laughs> takes a village. <laughs> Yes, well, we're scrolling through some of your work. This is your website, mm -hmm. correct, that we're looking at right yes. now. These photos are absolutely stunning. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, <laughs> do you have really something that inspires you? I like to say I don't want to create moments. I want to capture them. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm working with clients, I don't really do posing, quite frankly, at all. Um, more so I'll give a prompt or I'll just say, usually with couples, for example, I'll say, this is just a date, you know, mm -hmm. walk around, pretend there's nobody else here. How would you act? You know, so whether you're kissing or you're running around or giving a piggyback ride, I just want to be a fly on the wall because I think that creates such an authentic photo. Mm -hmm. I was actually talking with my sister this morning about it and I said, if you see a photo of yourself when you're truly happy or mm -hmm. you're truly in a moment, you're not going to even necessarily care what you look like if you don't like the way your chin looks or your outfit. If you're happy in a photo, that's what it's about. It's capturing that moment. And so I just want to connect with people and be able to, um, yeah, capture what life really looks like. Well, I think that's really beautiful. My goodness. So, you know, you're a student at NDSU. Mm -hmm. Do you find it hard to manage a business while pursuing your degree? Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, that's not even a question I would 100% do. Um, it's really tough because wedding season is obviously like summer and early fall. Mm -hmm. And so you have all these weddings and then it's like, boom, school's starting. Okay, yes. per, I have a million galleries to edit <laughs> and learn all my classes, get through syllabus, um, syllabus week. And so that's again where the village thing comes in, being able to have help and good friends who can empathize and my clients every single one of my mm -hmm. clients has been amazing where I can text them and say look I've got this huge assignment if you can just give me a couple extra days or an extra week I promise I'll get it to you and they're so wonderful and compassionate and I think that also goes to show if you really connect with um, you build those client connections mm -hmm. and I truly aim to get to know you as a person if I'm working with you it makes it a lot easier Yes, which I think maybe sets you apart from a lot of other photographers and like you mentioned, that authenticity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want, I want to know who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. I want to hear about your story and I want to be able to share mine. And when there's that mutual communication, it, it creates magic within photos and just people in general. Well, I think that certainly reflects in your work. So how can people find out more information about you? Um, so my website is sarahsunshinephotography.com and if you go to my contact page, you can send me an email there. 
or um, my Instagram is sarahsunshine.photography, so you can just send me a DM. Um, and my email, if you want to go straight to email, I suppose <laughs> instead of using either of those um, avenues would be sunshine at sarahsunshinephotography.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Sunshine, for sharing that with us. Yes, thank you for having me. Of course. All right, everyone stick around. We have your daily dose of motivation after the break.